Hi, my name is Miguel Angel Conde. I come from the University of Leon, and I'm here to present a learning analytics tool for the analysis of students' Telegram messages in the context of teamwork virtual activities. The idea, the motivation of this uh, work is um, that, first of all, we need today to, to have um, more prepared professionals adapted to our current society, and our current society is digital society. In order to facilitate to, to achieve this, we need to uh, to uh, facilitate then the, acquisi the acquisition of what are known as 21st century skills. And one of these skills, very valued, is uh, teamwork. Teamwork is very appreciated uh, both by companies and uh, in educational contexts. The problem that we have this, with this competence acquisition is uh, how to assess it from an individual perspective. That is how uh, we can measure individual acquisition of teamwork competence. And especially how to do this in a, in a person COVID situation. Uh, in this case, we have thought about the application of a methodology that uh, is called or is known as CTMTC, that uh, means Comprehensive Training Model of Teamwork Competence. It is a well-known approach and it's based on ITMA model, uh, ITMA project management methodology that uh, 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 analyze continuous learning and assessment, and it's very flexible. We have applied it in several subjects in our university uh, with more or less good results. But from these applications, we also we have also learned that um, the students were not very happy with the tools that uh, they were using to, to apply this methodology. They are going to use forums to interact between them. They are going to use storing systems to deliver, to uh, document what they have done, and wikis to show the progress. The problem is that the students said that they don't use forums to interact between them, usually. They prefer to use instance messenger tools. Okay, and this is possible to do, but the problem is how to analyze all the evidences that we are going to generate. And the way to do this is by using learning analytic tools. So we are going to present a learning analytic tool that is going to gather the evidences or the interactions of the students that happens on Telegram app, okay, by um, using a, a, an element that uh, Telegram provides that is a webhook. And with this webhook, we are going to gather messages and send them to a server where we are going to first process this information. Uh, after this, analyze it and finally present it to uh, the people that is got the, 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 the decision maker in a dashboard so they can see what, um, what to do with it. In this case, the decision maker is going to be the, the teacher. Uh, in the screen, you can see a deployment diagram with these different nodes and also and, uh, on the components and also some screenshots with them, some results. Uh, uh, on the left, you have results related with a specific group of students, and on the right, you have uh, information of individual uh, activity of each of the students of this group. Okay, so uh, we can consider or we can analyze uh, the data from a group perspective and also from the individual perspective. We have tried to validate it by using a, or by carrying out a, a case study in a computer science degree of computer animation. Uh, with uh, 56 students. And we have compared the results with previous editions, and we have also uh, analyzed the perception of the, of the students. Regarding the results, we can see that we have much more messages, which is normal because we are using an instant messaging tool, messaging tool. And also we have improved grades, which can be related with the fact that they are, the students are using tools uh, with, uh, with which they are really happy. Um, and we know that it can that can be biased because uh, of the different students involved from one year to, to another. But uh, I think it's a, uh, a good idea of what we are obtaining. And also, we have to consider their perceptions, and students are really happy with this. In fact, they suggest us to to have a similar uh, approach with other uh, um, instant messaging to instant messaging tools such as uh, Discord. Finally, as a conclusion, we can say that we need to ban before break. Uh, we are looking for flexible solutions. And um, in this case, solutions should take into account what the students are using in their daily life. It is really important because if they are happy with what they are doing, the results are going to be better. OK, and that's all uh, in my video. And if you have any question, I will be available during all team conference.
See you 